How to reverse aging. Yeah, we're going to show you the fountain of youth, part one. How do you slow aging? No one wants to get older, but unfortunately, until they discover an elixir of youth, it's fairly unavoidable. But just because you have to get older, no one said you have to do it quickly. And no one said you shouldn't age well and keep your youthful good looks, energy, and health. Many of us make the assumption that getting old automatically has to mean getting covered in wrinkles, losing our ability to walk around, and eventually developing incontinence and dementia. As it happens, though, none of these things are inevitable, and most of them are only partially related to age. As you can see, this too just by looking around. While some people seem to be struggling to stand up straight and remember their name at age 65, others are still playing sports and writing books well into their 80s and 90s. Is the difference entirely genetic? Not at all. In fact, there are numerous lifestyle changes that can make all the difference in the way you feel as you age and many of the problems that are associated with old age can actually be avoided entirely. So yeah, aging is still inevitable, but the way you age is almost entirely up to you. The difference comes down to your knowledge and your ability to apply that knowledge to make the most of your own body and health. You have the choice, and the sooner you take action, the more effectively you can solve off most of the unappealing aspects of getting older. Yes, that's right. This isn't just an information uh, for old people. It's for young people, too. In fact, it's more aimed at young people because you are the ones who have the time to ensure you get the very most out of your body and mind as you get older. How do you slow aging? Anyone can claim that aging is something you have control over. The hard part is backing that claim up with some hard evidence. So how can you really slow down aging and how your decisions end up putting your body in fast forward mode? First, mobility. A lot of people will tell you that your knees have a finite amount of time before they start to tire out. That goes back goes for your back but more and more we're discovering that's not true the functional strength crowd are making it very apparent that you can keep on training in old age and in that fact some simple something as simple as walking should give you more longevity the problem is just that we're training and our lack of activity generally the problem is that we're just training and our lack of ability generally. The way it goes for many people is that they stay very fit and healthy when they're younger because they run around, play sports, and generally engage in activity. Once they're in middle age, though, they slow down and they start sitting at the computer all day long. Their metabolism slows down, yes, but most of the changes they see in their body are really a result of being constantly stressed and constantly static. These results in muscle imbalances caused by maintaining the same posture for so long and it results in injury when they do get active. Don't use your back long enough and it's sure to go when you try and lift that suitcase. This injury then leads to corrective posture and biomechanics. You have a bad knee or back, so you put more weight on the other leg you hunch over. This in turn means that you actually exaggerate the muscle imbalances that you already had. And the longer this goes on, the more of a hunch and a limp you can start to acquire, the more pain you can expect to experience. The solution is not to be less active, but to be more active, while making sure to use the corrective technique. I've been doing a half hour treadmill now for about 20, 25 years, and I have formed the habit and when I don't get on that treadmill in the morning, I feel lousy the rest of the day. So take 21 days to convert your life and start doing exercises first thing in the morning. Energy. Meanwhile, staying active can also boost your energy levels and help you start feeling better. 
That means their tiredness and sluggish, sluggishness that we feel as we get older again isn't inevitable. Actually, when you combine the right exercise regimen with the right diet, you can increase not only your heart strength and circulation, but also the efficiency of your mitochondria. Mitochondria are small energy factories of your cells. They exist to help you convert glucose into usable energy, ATP, and their number and strength is one of the big determining factors that influences your energy output and the way you feel. In fact, differences in mitochondria have been suggested to be one of the main differentiating factors between the energy levels of young children and those of older individuals. It's why kids seem to be able to run around and around in circles for hours, screaming without ever tiring out. As you can see here, cell, each cell is a factory. Raw materials go in, food, water, air, toxin. And what comes out? Products and results, proper metabolism, energy and vitality, balance and harmony and health. The waste products are urine, fecus, your breath, and your sweat. So, like they say about computers, garbage in, garbage out, good products in, good products out. Nutrition. Nutrition is also responsible for a large portion of the problems you struggle with as you get older. Contrary to popular belief, many of the health issues associated with old age are actually cumulative and result from years of poor nutrition. A lack of nutrients can lead to problems with vision, problems with hormone production, problems with bone density, and much more. Thus, by eating the right diet, you can starve off numerous conditions and stay healthier and stronger into your old age. Poor nutrition and health. Too few nutrients lead to poor health or lack of energy. Some nutrient deficiencies may not cause problems until years later, like arteriosclerosis. Treat by improving health food choices or providing a dairy supplement. Beware of fat diets and beware of not drinking enough water. Another thing is, you heard over and over, don't smoke. If you smoke, stop smoking. If a smoke is in your house, ask them to smoke outside. Secondhand smoke is just as painful and as unhealthy as firsthand smoke. So, diet, and we recommend low-carb diet to get you to uh, maximum health, no smoking, Exercising, all these things help you get to die young at a very, very old age. Toxins, cell damage, and heart problems. Many of the health complaints associated with old age can also be combated with the right lifestyle. Sure, it's always possible to be unlucky and to suffer from cancer with no cause as such. But this is much less likely if you are able to protect yourself with the very best healthy lifestyle choices. For example, heart disease is one of the leading killers in men by far, but it's very much impossible to reduce the risk of this problem by getting plenty of exercise and sticking to a diet designed to keep your blood pressure and cholesterol at the most desirable levels. Now this goes on to another thing about men suffer from. I've heard men tell me, they will not take any cholesterol medicine. They will not take any blood pressure medicine, which is absolutely crazy. I'll tell you why. Very, very smart people have researched and created these tools to help you stay healthy. One of the things is to take a multivitamin every day, giving up smoking, taking cholesterol pill if you have high cholesterol, taking a blood pressure pill if you have high blood pressure. And all these pills could be done away with if you exercise and have a healthy lifestyle. Another thing, baby aspirin has been shown to be a great acid. And now they're reporting not only is it good for heart health, but it's also uh, against dementia. And also they're trying to say now, that baby aspirin helps you with pancreatic cancer and other forms of cancer. As you can see in this diagram, dangers of toxic deposits in your body, blurred vision, memory loss, acid reflux and GERD, increased risk of breast cancer, back pain, 
in your irritable bowel system, increased risk of colon cancer, joint inflammation and stiffness, low testosterone in men, unexplained weight gain, and central uh, system disorders. A lot of these problems that you experience as you age don't have to take place. The brain. The same rules apply to your brain as the rest of your body. In other words, if you keep your nutrition up and actually keep using your brain, it will stay nimble. We'll get into all of this in a lot more greater detail in the subsequent videos, but hopefully this is enough of an explanation to make a believer of you. The point is, you do have control over the way you age. If you take the right precautions, then you can stay healthy, mobile, and able well into your old age. We are making available at the discounted price of $9.95 the ultimate anti-aging guide that is going to act as your roadmap and your blueprint to help you do exactly that. Follow its tips and you'll be able to fortify your body against the evading forces of old age. The ultimate guide to anti-aging. Discover the techniques and method to reverse the aging process so you can look and feel more younger. We are making available a complete guide to the discounted price of only $9.95 with immediate download. Click the link in the description box below to get your immediate download today and start looking and living younger far into the future. Thanks for watching. Please share this with everybody that you know that is aging, and everybody is aging. Thanks again. Share, subscribe, and pass it on. Bye-bye.